The Armenian native faith, also termed Armenian neopaganism or Hetanism Armenian, Hetanosidine, Hetanosidine, a cognate word of heathenism is a modern pagan new religious movement that harkens back to the historical, pre-Christian belief systems and ethnic religions of the Armenians. The followers of the movement call themselves Hetans, Armenian, Hetanos Hetanos, which means heathen, thus ethnic, both of them being loanwords from the Greek ethnos, ethnos or arordi, meaning the children of Ari, also rendered as arordiners. In some scholarly publications, the Arordiner movement has antecedents in the early 20th century, with the doctrine of Sagakran, Sagakran literally, national religion, of the philosopher and nationalist political theorist Garegan Nzhdeh. It took an institutional form in 1991, just after the collapse of the Soviet Union in a climate of national reawakening, when the armenologist Slack Kakosian founded the Order of the Children of Ari. Arordinary UKHT. History <laughs> Nizdays and Kakosians' experiences The first organization of Armenian native faith, the ''Order of the Children of Ari'' or ''Era'' Arordinary UKHT in Armenian was established in 1991 by the Armenologist Slack Eduard, or Edic Kakosian 1936-2005. He belonged to a generation of Armenian dissidents and was exiled in the 1970s from Soviet Armenia. In 1979, he fled to the United States where he became familiar with the ideas of Garegan Nzhdeh. Nzhdeh was a philosopher, statesman, and fedei of the first half of the 20th century, who left an enduring legacy in the history of Armenia, and is still one of the driving forces of Armenian nationalism. Kakosian praised him as the Prophet of the Armenians. Nzhdeh founded a movement named Sagakran, Religion of the Nation, which was among the core doctrines of the Armenian Youth Federation. In Nizday's poetic mythology, the Armenian nation is identified as Atlas upholding the ordered world, and it makes reference to Haik, the mythical patriarch of the Armenians, and to Vahan, the solar and warrior god, fighter of the serpent, as means through which to awaken the Armenian nation and raise its spirit. Nizday's movement took place in the aftermath of the Armenian Genocide of 1915. During his exile, Slack Kakosian made extensive use of Nizday's works to codify the Yuktagirk, Book of Vows, the sacred text of the Armenian native faith movement. In the book, Garegan Nzhdeh is deified as an incarnation of Vahan, the re establisher of the true faith of the Armenians and of the Aryan values. While still in the United States, Kakosian claimed that he had been initiated to the ancient Armenian hereditary priesthood mentioned by Moses of Korin, changing his forename from Edic to Slack. He likely became acquainted with Zoroastrian communities in the United States. 1990s, establishment of the children of Ari Returning to Armenia in 1991, Slack Kakosian gathered a community and founded the Children of Ari. They began to hold rituals on traditional Armenian holy days. The Temple of Garni became the center of the community, a council of priests was set up in order to manage the organization and the rites. During the 1990s, the group reached visibility in wider Armenian society. According to the scholar Yulia Antonian, the emergence of the Armenian native faith is attributable to the same causes which led to the rise of other modern pagan movements, but also Hindu and Protestant movements. In the other post Soviet countries, the Armenian native faith represents the indigenous answer to the social and cultural upheavals which followed the collapse of Soviet society and of its atheist and materialist ideology. Topic. Republican Party support and grassroots spread Ashat Navasordian (1950–1997) and Andranik Margarian (1949–2007), founding fathers of the Republican Party of Armenia, were arordiners like many other members of the party and took part in the very first ritual at the Temple of Garni. The Republican Party provided financial support for the children of Ari until recent times, sponsored the publication of Yuktagirk and the setup of a memorial steel to Slack Kakosian on the grounds of the Temple of Garni. Arordiner festivals are celebrated in some regions with the support of local municipalities. 
Despite this strong link with the nationalist political scene, the children of Ari does not declare a political orientation, and the priests are forbidden from joining any political party. Although it started among the Armenian intellectual elites as a means to reawaken Armenian identity, in most recent times the Armenian native faith movement has expanded its contingent of adherents among the provincial and rural populations, and among the Armenian diaspora. Besides the philosophical approach of the intellectuals, the common people are driven to the Armenian native faith by various reasons, ranging from mysticism to a sentimental devotion to the gods. Antonian documented the case of a 35 years old woman who believed to be infertile, and who joined the Armenian native faith movement after she allegedly became pregnant by praying to Anahit, goddess of fertility, and to Astik, goddess of love and beauty. The woman gave her daughter the name, Nana. Another name of the goddess of fertility, local Arordaner communities have been organized in villages outside the capital Yerevan. The structure of the order of the children of Ari, and of the local communities themselves, is characterized by a clear hierarchy, with the council of priests, led by an elected chief, handling the organization of all activities. The highest position within the hierarchy is that of the supreme priest, which has remained vacant since Slak Kakosian's death in 2005. 2009, Avetisian and the Armenian Aryan Order Another party that was closely associated to the Arordaners is the Union of Armenian Aryans, led by Armin Avetisian, headquartered in Abovian, a city which is the second most important center of the Armenian native faith movement after Yerevan. The relations with the party, known for its extreme views, were cut in 2009 when Avedisian proclaimed himself a spiritual leader and announced the initiative to build a central temple in Yerevan. As the children of Ari expressed their opposition to the project, Avedisian founded a separate religious group, the Armenian Aryan Order. Topic: <laughs> Beliefs. Topic: <laughs> Theology and Cosmology. R and era Beliefs among the individual Arordaners vary, though there is a common theological underpinning provided by Euktagirk. This theology is a monism. The beginning of the first section of the book recites that, In the beginning was the R, and era was the creator. The R is the impersonal, without qualities, transcendent principle begetting the universe, while era is his personal, present form as the creator. The book continues telling the myth of how Era generates the gods and how the goddess Anahit gives birth to Ari Arian, the form of mankind. According to Arordaner theology, Ar is the life-giving word root, and it is the origin of words like, for instance, art, arable, cultivation, culture, art, Aryan, blood, argand, womb, armat, root, arca, king, era, male. Arev the sun, era manifested R, Ari acting with R, Chari opposing R. The essence of things and their perfection is represented by swastika motifs. Topic: <laughs> Ari and Chari and the many deities. The different deities are conceived by the supreme era. Some Arordaners do not consider them to be separate beings, but as incarnations of different aspects of era. They are organized in a cosmic duality, representing the light side and the dark side of the universal power, with the latter led by Vishap, the great snake, whom is identified as being the same as Yahweh. The history of mankind itself is seen as a constant struggle between these two forces, one represented by Ari Arians, the right men of the creative light side, the other one represented by Chari, destructive dark-sided creatures made from soil by Vishap. The Armenian native faith is polytheistic in practice. The gods of the Arordaners include, Haik, the mythical founder of the Armenian nation, Aray the god of war, Barsaman the god of sky and weather, Arales the god of the dead, Anahit the goddess of fertility and war, Mihr the solar god, Astik the goddess of love and beauty, Nuna the goddess of wisdom, Tir the god of art and inspiration, Sovanar the goddess of waters, Amanor the god of hospitality, Spandaramit the goddess of death, and Gisana the mother goddess of nature. Topic. Afterlife and eschatology The Arordaners have a cyclical view of reality, and they believe in the reincarnation of individual souls through the genetic lineage. 
That is to say, men are believed to come back to life in the following generations of their own descendants, in the kin which they begot while living. According to Arordner doctrines, the entire world goes through similar cycles, from the smaller ones represented by the days and the years, to the greatest ones represented by eras of 10,000 years. The struggle between light and dark forces unfolds through the cycle of each era. Order and connection with the ancestors prevail during the world's summer and spring, while disorder, confusion, and forsaking of the ancestral roots prevail during the world's autumn and winter. In the latter period, beings are not in harmony with era, they are not nourished by cosmic energy, and they fall prey of the evil Chari forces. At the darkest stage of history, though, which according to Arordiners corresponds to the current times, Vahan manifests again and brings the Ari forces back to life. Topic. The Yuktagurk Yuktagurk, the holy book of the Armenian native faith, may be translated as Book of Vows. It was the life work of Slack Kakosian, who finished the manuscript just before his death in 2005. Kakosian, however, is not credited as the author of the Yuktagurk, but rather as the recorder of an eternal truth understood by inspiration, its compiler, Kazmo. The book was officially proclaimed the holy text of the Order of the Children of Ari in 2000, a couple of years before its completion, when the religious organization was officially registered by the Armenian state. The book is divided into seven parts, Astvatsashunch, dictionary which explains the Armenian language as a mystical system of symbols related to the root R, Sagamnaran, Genesis, which explains in mythical terms the origin of the world, the gods and mankind, Avataran, Book of Testaments, and Zonaran, Book of Odes, which deal with philosophical and ontological categories to explain reality and values, Viran, Book of Greatness, and Patgamaran, Book of Commandments which present mythologized descriptions of Garegan Nizday's life and ideas, respectively, and the seventh and last chapter, Himmergaran, Book of Hymns, which is a collection of poems written by Kakosian and his followers, as well as by authors of the 19th and early 20th century. The mythological parts about creation rely upon Armenian medieval sources and folk knowledge. Chanting ritual texts from the book is considered to procure mystical experiences, and the physical book itself is crucial for some ritual activities, such as wedding ceremonies, in which the rings are passed to the bride and groom on top of a copy of the Yuktagurk. At the same time, Arordiners do not consider their book unquestionable, but the text is open to corrections as required by changing circumstances. This attitude is supported by a declaration of Slack Kakosian himself, who conceived the book in the terms of a changeful and adaptable truth. Topic. Practices Armenian native faith practices, rituals and representations mostly rely on the instructions given by the Yuktagurk. For instance, it is common for the priests to make pilgrimage to Mount Kustup, where, according to the book, Garegan Nzhdeh experienced the presence of the god Vahan. The priest's aim is to replicate such experience. The veneration of Nzhdeh and the pilgrimage to his burial site, which is located on the slopes of the Kustup, is also slowly developing within the larger community of Arordiners. In general, mountains are revered as holy, so, besides Kustup, other mountains, including Mount Ararat and Mount Aragats, function as pilgrimage destination for Arordiners. The memory of Slack Kakosian is also part of the cult celebrated by the Arordiner priests. The celebrations in honor of Vahan at the Temple of Garni usually start at the memorial monument of Kakosian, set up after his death on the site where his ashes were dispersed. The figure of Kakosian has been mythologized in a collection of poems composed by Aaron Hakian and published in 2007. In these poems he is described as a divine man. Hakian is also the author of poems devoted to Nzhdeh and to the gods. Topic. Rituals Armenian native faith rituals include the yearly ceremonies performed on Armenian traditional holidays, and three rites of passage, the nunk, a complex ritual of initiation, the psak, that is wedding, and death rituals. The death rituals require the cremation of the body, and its return to the four elements. Fire is symbolized by the cremation itself, then the ashes are divided into three parts, of which one is buried in the earth, one is scattered in the air of the Garni Gorge, and the third one is poured in the water of the Garni River. Afterwards, the deceased is memorialized by the collective lighting of a torch. 
The first Erordiner to be cremated was Kakosian himself, at a time when cremation was illegal in Armenia. Later, Erordiners obtained by the state the right to cremate their dead. The Armenian term nunk may be translated as conversion or reversion to the native way of life. Yulia Antonian observed that about 10 to 20 people take part to each nunk ritual, which is held on the occasion of the public ceremonies at the Temple of Garni. At the same time, there are many Erordiners who believe that in order to worship the native gods of Armenia it is not necessary to undergo an official conversion. Topic. Temples and idols Erordiner public ceremonies and rituals are held at ancient sacred places, which are often in ruins. The reappropriation of churches that were built on native sacred sites is also common. The most important of these sites is the 1st century Temple of Garni, a temple which was rebuilt in 1975, which has become the main ceremonial center for the Armenian native faith movement. The Erordiners have reconsecrated the temple to Vahan, although historically it was dedicated to Mihr. They have also been given approval for the rearrangement of the compound, in order for it to match the ideal structure of ancient Armenian sanctuaries. They have added a holy spring dedicated to Slak Kakosian and a wood of apricot trees, the holy tree of Armenian native faith. The temple is now organized into three sacred spaces, the first is the sacred spring, the second one is the temple proper, and the third one is the holy wood, located on a hillock. The rituals at the temple of Garni take place following a route which starts from the spring, passes through the temple, and endly reaches the holy wood. Downhill, each newly established local Erordiner community plants a tree, symbolizing the unity and well-being of the group itself. These holy trees are adorned with ribbons and handkerchiefs symbolizing one's requests to the gods. Besides the Temple of Garni, other sites considered holy by the Erordiners and used for their rituals include the Metsamor Castle, 3rd millennium BCE, considered a site for the cult of the mother goddess, the Arabuni Fortress, 8th century BCE, Shangavit, 4th to 2nd millennium BCE, and Zorat's Karar, 3rd millennium BCE, and the mountains. Sculptures representing the gods which have been realized within the context of modern Armenian native faith are inspired by both historical specimens and the creativity of modern artists. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Holidays. The Erordiners celebrate a number of holidays: Terendes, Zadik, Hambardzum, Vardavar and Kaghoghornik. To these holy days they add a holy day for the remembrance of ancestors the 20th of September the birth of Vahan the 21st of March the birth of Mihr the 22nd of December and the Navasard the new year celebrated in August Topic <laughs> Relations with Christianity The relations between the Armenian native faith movement and the Armenian Apostolic Church have been good and collaborative, since both share the common interest of protecting and promoting Armenian identity, especially against what are perceived as disruptive foreign forces infiltrating the country, such as Protestants, Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons. The Armenian Apostolic Church generally sees Erordiners as allies. A high-ranking spokesman of the Armenian Apostolic Church declared, the Armenian Church has an unequivocal stance on sectarians i.e. Protestants et al., but we do not interfere into pagan affairs. Similarly, the head of an Armenian institution catering to the victims of destructive cults declared, The Armenian nation must remember its pre-Christian past, and Ara's children help them remember. They also support the Armenian Apostolic Church in its fight against destructive sects. Armenian native faith believers' attitude towards Christianity oscillates between two positions, the critique of the religion's role in Armenian history, and the conditional acceptance of the Armenian Apostolic Church as a national institution. Christianity is criticized for having destroyed the rich and highly developed ancient Armenian culture, replacing the values of courage, martial spirit and honor with those of humility, obedience and modesty, thus causing the collapse of Armenian statehood and condemning the nation to centuries of subordination to foreign powers, migrations, persecutions and massacres. According to the strongest accusations, Christianity is responsible for the first genocide of the Armenians which coincided with its forceful introduction in the 4th century. At the same time, the Armenian Apostolic Church is considered an institution peculiar to the Armenian nation, and the fruit of a synthesis of Christian and indigenous elements, in which the former represent just the surface. 
The Aurordaners find proof of this in the Church's prayers devoted to the sun and light, in Church festivals overlapping indigenous Armenian festivals, and in the practice of matah, Christian animal sacrifice. Moreover, the Aurordaners believe that the Armenian alphabet, which Church historiography holds to have been invented by the monk Mesrop Matats, is actually an elaboration of ancient Armenian symbolism based on the motif of the swastika. Aurordaners generally do not have problems visiting Armenian churches and treating them as holy places, since many of them were built on the site of pre Christian temples. Furthermore, some figures of the history of the Armenian Apostolic Church are revered as Aurordaners in disguise, the Catholicoi high-ranking bishops Vazgan I in charge 1954–1994 and Garegan I The former was a supporter of NZHDEH and on his tombstone, instead of a cross, he has a letter of the Armenian alphabet which is considered a variant of the swastika and symbolic of seven Armenian gods. The latter is said to have visited Garni before his death and, despite being terminally ill, to have walked alone to the temple. See also Caucasian neopaganism Slavic native faith Tukmanic shrine of Oshakan References Topic Citations Topic Sources See Kirsky, Conrad, Antonian, Yulia, twenty thirteen. A Neo Pagan Movement in Armenia, the Children of Era. In Karina Adamerto, Scott Simpson. Modern Pagan and Native Faith Movements in Central and Eastern Europe. Durham, Acumen. pp. two hundred sixty six to two hundred eighty two. ISBN 9781844652. Kirsky, Conrad. 2010. Recreation of a religion, neo-paganism in Armenia. Laboratorium in Russian 1. Saint Petersburg. pp. 103 to 128. 2008. The Aryan Myth and the New Armenian Paganism. Identities and Changing World, Proceedings of International Conference PDF in Armenian. Yerevan, Lingva. pp. 23-30. ISBN 9789993079962. Kirsky, Conrad. 2008. Magical and Healing Practices in Contemporary Urban Environment in Armenian Cities of Yerevan, Gumri, and Vanadzor. Figuring the South Caucasus, Societies and Environment. Tbilisi, Heinrich Boll Foundation. ISBN 9789941900000. Kirsky, Conrad. 2006. On the Name and Origins of Chopchi Healing Practices. Bulletin of Armenian Studies 1. pp. 61-66 2003. Pre-Christian Healers in a Christian Society. Cultural Survival Quarterly, 27 2. Topic. External links Order of the Children of Ari — Official Website Armenian Aryan Congregation — Official Website